Have you found the perfect pick, the most elusive object, the holy grail of tenor banjo? I'm going to do a pick comparison video. I'm going to play with a bunch of different picks at different uh, thicknesses and brands and see if you can tell the difference. They all feel very differently and some of them will sound enormously different. <laughs> To start with the Dunlop Tortex. This is the 0 0.50. even though it's a 0.5. So for comparison, this next one is a string joy, and this is also a 0.50. It's the jumbo jazz, so it's the larger of, the, of their um, jazz picks. This is currently my go-to, so here's a little bit of this one. Two picks are 0 0.50. This one, to my money, there's, there's definitely more backbone to it. Uh, the sound, therefore, is a tiny little bit rounder than the Tortex on a 0.5. Uh, here's another one of uh, picks that I have used over the years, and, I, and I've really liked this one. This one is the Dunlop Tortex Flow, and this is 0.5 as well. This is a little bit smaller than the regular Tortex and a lot smaller than the Jumbo Jazz in the String Joy pick. So this is what this sounds like. So that would be a very close second to me uh, to the String Joy, which is my favorite of the 0.5s. Uh, the reason being is just uh, the, the music that I'm playing uh, and on stage and stuff. There's a little bit more backbone to the string joy uh, and the jumbo jazz. It's probably just because of the actual physical size of the pick. So I get a bit more, um, there's just a little bit more in the pick for me when I'm playing. And particularly when I'm playing on stage and it's quite loud. Here in the house playing, either one of the three is fine. And it's definitely very close between the Tortex Flow and the string joy in the point five. All right. Let's move on to let's move on to the point six point six zero mil. This is the Tortex, the T three, and uh, this is by Dunlop. So this is a point six. This is a good bit heavier, obviously, than the point five. Tenth of a mil, even. sound there's more to the pick in a lot of ways you have to work less with a heavier pick because the pick is doing an awful lot more of the work that's why that tortex the 0.5 tortex it was a lovely sound it's a bit on the thin side and so you really feel like uh, you, that you're working harder to maintain the control of that pick so this is the 0.6 tortex t3 here's the dunlop jumbo jazz 0.6 I like this one a lot, particularly for stage when it's loud and the louder it gets, the harder you play and uh, there's definitely more backbone to the 0.6 than there is to the 0.5. <laughs> the Dunlop Tartex T3 and again it's just because it's the jumbo jazz size so there's a little bit more material. I do like this one a lot um, it's again it's a rounder tone so you're you're getting kind of more body from the banjo because of the heaviness of the pick. So that's another 0.6 there are the two 0.6s that I have. 
Uh, I don't even know what this is. This is a white Clayton pick. That feels like an 83. It doesn't have it written on it. I'm going to briefly jump back to a Tortex Dunlop. This is a black pick. Uh, there's, there's mad names in these things. Sepia. The thing with this pick is that it's got a, it's got a, uh, the, the pointy end is, is rounder, which sounds like a bit of a misnomer, but uh, it's it's a lot more rounded than the other 0.5 picks. So this might be the one for you, certainly. <laughs> Again, I would find this to be super light. So the 0.5 in this pick, it's, it's too light for me. It's just a little bit too crisp. And uh, I, f I find that I'm having to even squeeze to try and put a bit of backbone into the pick. But the sound is nice and the rounded part definitely flows over the strings. I find sometimes that the rounded picks, they don't give you the kind of crisp tone that you're looking for. Um, the same way as something like those. There's the flow. This is a little bit more brightness to that. That could be a psychological thing as well, because I often think if the point has a nice, if the pick has a nice point to it, then the triplets are going to be really crisp, and there's only a small little bit of the pick that's you know coming in contact with the strings. Whereas with those rounded ones. I think even just kind of perceptionally, I'm like, ooh, that's not, that's going to be harder to drag back and over. But that could just all be in my head, you know, where most things, where most things live. Uh, here is a Clayton. Oh, it is written on it. And it is a 0.8. It's an absolutely tiny writing. Microscopic. <laughs> because you you're the, the pick is doing all the work so it's, it's really grazing back and over the strings but now we're getting into that kind of heavy woolly sound and some people might like that of course uh, it's definitely I wouldn't say it's definitely easier to play in certain aspects it's easier to play but it can also be harder to play it, it, it depends on what how it is that you feel it sometimes I find those 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 heavier picks when you're playing very fast they don't suit they don't suit me as well they're more likely to get stuck so uh, that's a point eight clayton but i'm not a fan of the woolly sound now we're going to get really woolly and a bit silly but this these, these picks do have their place so this is a dunlop flow and it's a 1.0 it's brown i know all of these things have names I will endeavour to find them. You should be able to hear all of the pick noise, because now we're getting into the territory of pick noise. And there's a lot of that with these heavier picks. Where these do play a role is if you're doing different type of music. So not so much, for me anyway, not so much the, the jigs and the reels. And definitely not on this, this type of banjo. But if you're into the cross picking, or even like slow tune playing, you want you have the backbone because of course you're playing up here and you don't have the same support structure so you want the pick to do an awful lot more of the work for you Times. 
for certain time. Uh, what else have I got in my collection? I don't know what this is. It's probably written on it. Oh, this is a Clayton Flex. This is a bit mad. It has a kind of a round bit in the middle. And it has uh, some of that etchy stuff that makes it really sticky. Now, I find that picks that are have got the ridges in them. Some people like them because they, they help them to hold the pick uh, better. And they don't slip. I find, because I'm doing micro adjustments of the pick all of the time. So when I'm picking, I'm... The, the pick is really, really light, and I'm able to move it back into position just by letting go of it, essentially. And these picks with the ridges, I find that they get stuck on my fingers, and that I'm not able to move them around freely the way that I would like. <laughs> heavy. The heaviness is going to give you that rounder, rounder tone, uh, that uh, ridge uh, on both sides that will suit people down to the ground. I don't like it because I can't make the micro adjustments. But that is a Clayton Flex 0.6. I think this is the last one that I have. Uh, this is a Tortex T3, and this is 0.73 of a mil, yellow. Again, now this is really heavy, right? So you, you're getting that round tone and it's it's straying slightly into woolly, right? But the heaviness of it makes, a, makes picking really easy because you're barely holding the pick with your fingers at all. It's just sitting there, way to your thumb. And, you know, there's... So for, for certain types of playing, for me, this is dead easy to play with. But I get bored of the very woolly sound very quickly. So that's why for me, the compromise is either the string joy in the 0.6. Lots of backbone and weight. And the one that I probably use the most, and certainly the one I use the most acoustically, is the string joy 0.5 in the jumbo jazz size. Reason being, you've still got lots of backbone, but you also have the crispness, so it's that little trade-off between the two. I do know that. Oh, uh, one completely random one, which has very limited use on use on the banjo. Uh, this is a Wigan mandolin pick. Um, pretty sure this is about one mil. Again, for reels and jigs. <laughs> sound but for slow music it's beautiful because now you're getting into the thing where you're you're getting loads of resonance and you're also pulling out the pinky sound of the thinner picks. And just for comparison, here's a slow tune 
played with the thinness of the pick, so 0.5. <laughs> takes that very strong Irish tenor banjo pinky plunky sound out of it but wouldn't use it for jigs and moves. So what's on uh, what's in my bag when I'm on tour there are loads of string joy 0.5 the string joy 0.6 both in jumbo jazz because I like that bigger size I find the little ones the regular jazz just a bit fiddly and I have one of these Wiegands and I use that for the uh, for the slow tunes and that gets me through basically any and all scenarios so i hope you can hear the difference and and see the difference and there's a link hopefully to uh, each of these picks if i do my homework in the description below and i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like share and all the rest of it follow me on instagram and facebook for more and if you want to learn how to play the banjo go over to patreon.com forward slash enda banjo i got tons of stuff on there